up? Good morning, guys. Out here on a nice little Sunday. I think today or yesterday would have been amazing to go fishing. Today, a little bit of a front. We'll see what they're doing. Uh, out here to just kind of work on some graph and work on some deep fishing. Got the state tournament coming up on whitefish. Want to just kind of get in that deep fishing mode, looking for offshore stuff. Uh, kind of exercise those muscles mentally and physically to get ready for the teeth. So it's kind of a pre-pre-practice, just trying to get in the right mode before the, the big uh, Bass Nation TLC on the whitefish chain, which is next week, which there'll be plenty of video content from. Also, meeting some friends out here, uh, do a little on-water training, help uh, a friend and their high school kid uh, work on some skills for some upcoming virtual high school tournaments. So should be a fun little morning. I don't know what we'll film, what this will look like, but uh, stay tuned, maybe you'll learn something too. These little guys are just chomping today. <laughs> There's a 12 incher. So there, that last one I caught, like as soon as I hooked him, I hit the spot lock and I flipped right back in there. So cast like right 15, 20 feet in front of my boat. And you guys go by length? Yep. This one actually would be decent because he's skinny, but he's actually probably like almost 15 inches long. <laughs> A little better. Look at that one. That's why you throw net heads right there, Audrey, so you can catch big ones like me. That's why I don't like throwing a net head. It's your own. A little better one. God, you guys are skinny out here today. Long and skinny. back out there and catch another one right there that was a textbook like pop that jig worm off the grass let it fall back down fish picked it up and he had it that's very textbook typical of how you get bites on a jig worm all right your bite feels small man that was weird every time I get like a keeper bite and then I catch a bunch of these little buggers next to them. one. Dang it. Not a good hook set. Oof, that felt like a fish. Oh, it's a good one. That's a big fish, whatever it is. Big fish. I think. Not a giant, but it's a good one. Better, 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 better. God, he felt big when I first hit him. 
Just had me around some milfoil. Oh man, stuck him. He's stuck. Nice little chunk around the jig. Throw a little 3 8 Bass Tech Magic Craw with the menace scrub on there. Let's get back in there and see if we can't get another one. I missed one, hit the spot lock. And now I'm trying, and then I made a few more casts, finally got another bite. Just dragging it on this weed edge. Fish on there. Oh man. There's another one. Coming up. Trying to come up. Finally, a little better fish. A little school of at least decent keepers here. Decent chunks. Let's see if there's any big ones in there. They're kind of not, they're not hammering it, they're just kind of laying on it, pulling a little bit. Just grass. Full scent. There's a bite. Nice fish on the jig worm. Not a giant, but good solid tournament fish. Doinked him. So we can get one more fish in that worm before she's tore up. Another one. Might have to. Uh. And it's a keeper. Fun to get on a school. Wish they were three and four pounders, but these are still fun. Tons of fun. Mm. Caught a couple on a jig. Then get some bites. Switch the jig worm. Clean it up. So. I would like to rig my jig worm. Got all 316 ounce agitator, bass tech head. I like to take just a quarter inch off, maybe half inch off. Drag that on there pretty straight. Bring my hook out on this dinger, like right in that little slot. Push it up on that hook keeper, keep it pretty straight. And then just a little tip of chartreuse to make it look like a little bluegill. That's what I'm catching them on. There's a fish on the old crank, made the old DT-10 hooked up. Not a big end, but it's fun catching them on a crankbait. Sometimes when you don't have a lot of confidence in a bait, 
if you find a school of fish like this, that's a good time to pick up a different bait and try to get confidence built on it. When you know there's fish there, no better time. You know, learn how to fish a jig, learn how to fish a crankbait. Find some active biting fish, get your bait in there, see what happens. I lost one and caught five here. Uh, I started with the jig, lost one, caught two, picked up the jig worm, caught two, and then I picked up a crankbait just so I could stop catching them and I caught one anyways. But like right where I'm sitting, like right in here, but I stopped trying to throw in there hoping they'd still bite if you showed up. <laughs> Which almost never works. both yeah the jig I had to fish really slow and I was only getting a bite every few casts two casts with the jig worm I got bit on both casts there's one a little better They've all been about this size. I mean, like not monsters, but like you get a bag of these and get a couple good ones. You... And they're fun to catch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, decent casts. Got one? Now you know you can come here and catch them. <laughs> Not bad. Got a bite. Again, buddy. There we go. Not a bad one. Kind of like the ones we were catching earlier. <laughs> day caught uh, most of our fish in like eight to ten feet of water uh, jig worms three eight ounce jig that was pretty much the ticket for all the bites got a few fish on docks late but uh, eight to ten weed lines were hard bottom mixed in uh, it was good just to get out graph around a little bit fish a little deeper fish some weed lines kind of get those uh, those uh, spidey senses tuned up for whitefish so all in all a good day uh, on a local lake and uh, ready to uh, to go fish the state tournament next week so should be a good one as always if you guys enjoy these videos like subscribe comment and as always here to help you catch more bass and suck less